Hey guys, my name is Kylie Dennis and this is my testimony of my salvation. I had been, you know, in and out of the church as a kid. I'd been exposed to the word through, you know, my grandparents and, and friends that I had grown up with. Um, but overall, it, it seemed really confusing. Um, I didn't understand the Bible. I think I was probably, you know, entering King James and didn't even know that there was different versions that might have made more sense to me. Um, I thought, I don't hear God calling me. Everybody, you know, seems so invested in that they just feel the Lord flowing through them. And I never felt that. So I thought, you know, I'm not worthy. He doesn't want me. He doesn't love me. Maybe I've sinned too much. And, you know, I had had a last ditch effort of <laughs> trying to use baptism as my salvation. And obviously that's not, you know, the route that we take. Baptism comes after your salvation. So I think I was really let down when I, you know, got baptized and nothing changed after that. So I wiped my slate of religion and Christianity and just moved on with my life. I went through college, I met my husband, we got married, had our two beautiful boys and found ourselves back here in Oklahoma. It was through this move um, that I had met some neighbors that actually came here. Um, it was Trinity and now it's Together We. Um, and I had seen her posts on Facebook and all of that and thought, wow, like she's really established at this amazing, amazing church. Um, but it was a few weeks after that, that, you know, one of my friends had mentioned that she was going back to church and I thought I was just making a good parenting move, you know, oh, she's taking her kids to church. I should take my kids to church. So that was where it all began is, you know, okay, let's take the boys and, and introduce them to this and, and maybe they'll have a different, a different experience than I did. And um, so I reached out to my friend and, you know, asked her if we could join, you know, at Trinity and, and she said, of course. Um, so, you know, we got ready and we went, you know, that Sunday, dropped the boys off at preschool and I had no idea what was about to happen um, in that service and that all of this was a call to me. Um, Pastor Brian had spoke about surrender that day and making adjustments in your life to God that we can expect God to make adjustments, but we have to make that adjustment for Him. The night before that service, I had had this random thought that I wanted to read the Bible, which was really off for me because um, I had completely written off the Bible. It was, it was confusing. I didn't understand it. It seemed like a book of rules to live by, and I just thought that's not for me. Um, but that night before, I opened the Bible and for whatever reason was led to Genesis 7 and, you know, reading about Noah and the flood. And it didn't mean much when I read it that night. My husband and I kind of discussed it. Um, but in service the next morning, you know, when Pastor Brian was talking about surrender, that was where he went with it. He said the words Genesis six through nine and my heart just dropped because I was like, no way, this is what came from this. Um, and we discussed Noah and the flood and how he just followed God and you know, how his friends probably thought, what are you doing with this boat? And um, you know, thought that maybe he was crazy, um, but for whatever reason that was my moment with God to say, wow, this was you calling me. I thought I was making these choices for my kids, but after all of it, it was, it was you calling me. So, you know, that Saturday night I read in to Genesis, Pastor Brian talked about it on Sunday. I just had this overwhelming presence of the Lord and that was what I had always been missing. Pastor Brian also mentioned some things in the service that literally made me feel like God was looking right at me and speaking through him, you know, he said, um, has God put something in your spirit that you cannot shake? Has he put scripture in your life to back that up? And that was Noah for me, for whatever reason, has he put people in your life that, that has led you, have led you here? And all of those things had happened to me literally over a week. And I answered that call. And it wasn't until that Sunday morning that I realized that that was what was happening. Um, I was so overwhelmed with the presence of Him and that feeling of being seen. And that was the moment that I gave it to the Lord. I heard Him, I felt Him, and I wanted to make that step to fully surrender my life to Him. Um, and 
I think one of the most beautiful moments of that service was at the end during the invitation. Um, they played the worship song, Trust in, Trust in God. And it was so overwhelming in the moment um, that I didn't go up and, and kneel at the altar or anything. But, you know, they're saying these words, I sought the Lord and He heard and He answered, but I felt completely different. I felt that He sought me and it was my time to finally answer His call. Um, and the blessings that have just unfolded from that through my marriage, through my parenting, through my life, just overall my well-being and my vision of seeking the Lord and, and understanding His will and wanting to to just glorify Him through it all was something that I never understood. Um, and I never thought that that time would come for me. So. I think the most important thing about my testimony is just trusting God's timing. You know, we're not all five years old, you know, and knowing that we are saved. We're not all 16 years old and having that moment to be saved. You can be any age and God will choose you. God will love you and your time will come. You just have to trust Him in that timing and, and just give it all to Him.